Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, my name is Allie. I am currently pregnant with a little boy. If you have not been following along with my pregnancy journey, don't forget to subscribe, but I also post weekly updates um, and other pregnancy related videos. A couple of weeks ago, I uploaded a baby names I love but won't be using video, and I had filmed that before we knew the gender of our baby. Now that we know we are having a little boy, I wanted to make another one of these name videos. We have narrowed down our list of names to probably about top a top five that we are still trying to decide between and I honestly think we'll probably have to wait until he's born and see what feels right to name him then we just cannot seem to agree on anything so now that we've narrowed it down I wanted to make another video giving you some of the names that we have ruled out unfortunately this video is gonna be just 10 boy names and I am gonna post another one um, that will be 10 girl names as well. I really do love every single one of these names and there is like a reason for why we can't use all of them, but I really do like them all and so I wanna be able to pass them along. This list of names is definitely more on the edgy and unique side. My taste in names tends to be on the more unique or uncommon side, but not like ridiculous. And I also tend to really, really love vintage names too. I love a good grandma grandpa name um just like good old classic names but these ones all on this list too seem to be like very edgy like kind of edgy cool unique names with a couple of vintage ones too i also looked up all of these names beforehand on baby name wizard to check their popularity and they all are they're either like very uncommon or pretty uncommon none of these names are super super popular booming right now which is nice so the first name i have on my list is Hayes, and i love this name i tend to love names that end in s i don't know why like anything that ends in an s i just i really like that chris and i both grew up in the same town and there's a grocery store in our tiny town called Hayes market and i don't want anyone to think that i named my baby after the grocery store so we aren't going to use that one but i do really like this one the next name I have on here is Steel, which I love this name. One of my clients, her brother is named Steel. And she was telling me a story one time, like talking about her brother Steel, and it just sounded so cool in conversation, like talking about him. And I don't know, that one just like really stuck with me. I think that it sounds like a very cool guy name that works all throughout life. Um, I don't know what any good nicknames would be for Steel, but I just think that it sounds very edgy and cool. Also, Steel Scott. That would sound cool. Chris doesn't like it. Chris doesn't like anything, but... The next name I have on here is Nixon. Another one I think is so edgy and cool. When I hear this name, I think of Nixon the watch company and not Nixon the terrible president, but... Chris does not like it. He does not want <laughs> to be naming the baby after the president or anything like that. This one just feels like it has a lot of cool nickname options and it just sounds really edgy and different. Like I've never met anyone named Nixon before. It could be really cool shortened to Nix or I think that that would be a really cool name for a little boy. The next name I have on here is not super unique, but it's not really common right now and that is the name warren i have had this name on my baby name list for so long because the first place that chris and i ever lived together was on warren avenue and i just thought that, that would be so cool to name our baby after like the street that we not met on but you kind of know what i mean ever since we lived there i've had that name on my list but someone else that i know who is pregnant right now who is due like two weeks before me has already said that they are going to use this name and so obviously i'm not going to have my baby two weeks later and then also use this name so we did rule that one out but i think that is such a great name for a little boy the next name sounds very similar and this is baron i have heard baron used as a last name a lot of times but never as a first name and i think that that is so cute i feel like that's something i tend to really like too is using last names as first names but it just sounds very classic and vintage and just like a good name although i wouldn't want the nickname to be barry and that just feels like the first thing that my mind went to but baron i think that that's 
I think that's a really cute name for a boy and it works really well for a man as well. The next name I have on here is Styles, which going off of what I just said about using last names as first names, it's like Harry Styles. But I, my best friend actually sent this to me in a text message of baby suggestions and I love that name. I guess Julia Styles, that's her last name too. But when I looked this one up on Baby Name Wizard, it was super uncommon. It works for young man and grown man as well. Also, if you don't know what I'm talking about when I keep saying baby name wizard, I talked about this in my first baby names video. It's basically just a really great baby name website that has this option to check the popularity of a name and see like at what years it was the most popular and the most used and things like that. So I'll link it in the description box if you wanna check that out. But I love using baby name wizard for my baby name search. One other thing I've actually been using recently too is a social security website, which is so random. I'll link this below too, but you can check, it only applies to the US obviously, but you can check the popularity of a name there as well. They both basically do the same thing. So do with that what you will, but I kind of go back and forth between both of those. Okay, the next name I have on my list is Slate. And I don't know where I heard this one, but it is just so cool and different, Slate. This one's a little unique for me, but I think that it is really cool and edgy. And I don't think it goes super well with our last name, but I wanted to include it on this list because I think it is cool and I haven't really heard anybody named this name before. The next name I have is a vintage name and also the name of one of our really good friends, so we can't use it but that is the name Woodrow. I've only ever met one person with this name and I have never really heard of anyone else using it, but I think it's such a cool, it's like cool and unique, but it's still a very classic name. Um, I love that you can shorten it to Woody. I think that Woody is a cool nickname. And yeah, I really like that name, but it's one of Chris's really good friends like it was one of his groomsmen so we're not going to use that just because we don't want to name him after someone so close to us but i love that name so i wanted to include it on the list the next name i have on here is porter and i've never met anyone with this name either i don't know what like nicknames would go well with this name but i do think that it's like a very cool unique name that still isn't pretentious so i really like that name porter porter scott that's a cool name. And then the very last name on here is definitely a name that everyone has heard, but it's not super common and used. And that is the name Forest. And I just love this name so much. I tried really hard to convince Chris of this name. And of course he just cannot get past the Forrest Gump aspect of it, which I get. But I just think it's such a cool, like, edgy good name i wish that movies didn't ruin names like this but i have seen a few people naming their kids forest recently i know that there's another girl here on youtube from australia who just named her baby forest a couple of months ago i think there's a celebrity who has a young son name forest also but i can't think of who it is um but yeah i love that name i just think it's very different but still really good strong name for a boy that is all of the names I have for this video. Leave me a comment down below what you thought of these names or if you have any baby name suggestions for me. I loved reading all of the baby name suggestions on my last video. It's just like so awesome what everyone else has on their lists. Um, so yeah, definitely leave me some comments below about the names that you love. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and to follow along with my pregnancy journey. And I will see you guys all in my next video.